Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and welcome to another uh, vintage unboxing today. Something that Carl's been had on his want list for a very long time indeed. We have a Hoover S4514, aka the Hoover Aquajet. Now, as you know, Carl does like his um, tub, tub style vacuums. And he also does like the ones that also wash the carpets and, and rugs and hard floors and things like that. So going back, so he only actually got this one yesterday. Quite often we upload things, you know, months, maybe a year in advance sometimes. It just depends when we get the finished product done. But um, yeah, so on Fridays, Carl goes down, or well, one of his rewards he gets from school, he goes down to the local Tesco's. The little Tesco's is quite unique where we live because it also shares, um, it used to be years ago a Plimco and they used to have shops, like other shops in like a, like a, like a mini mall. So this Tesco's has got like a mini mall as well built into it. And um, they, um, he goes down on Fridays and he has tests the alarm system down there normally. The uh, guy lets him do it just to, to put the key in for the fire alarm. Also so, the same keys. so also um there's a charity shop at the end i think it's called hannah's and um, their vacuums are quite normally overpriced i mean they're all pack tested and stuff he does like to have a look around and um spot this one so he got home from school yesterday and says dad dad aquajet 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 in the box in the box really good condition all stuff in with it so i was like wait I'll go down there now because it is that time of year. Spring's on upon us, and it'll probably disappear pretty quick. Um, so this one, as you can see, cost and it was pack tested. Just about to see it here the day that we've got a bit of sunlight out today. Thirty pound. Now I didn't barter for this price today because it was pretty much complete. We did have a bit of water in the pot. We did, yes. The first thing we did when we got home, we have actually have tested, we actually tested it all in the shop, even though we had a pack test, because we were worried about the pump. You know, pump's working fine, the, the pump is spraying water out. Uh. So what we got, when we got back, we got rid of most, as much water as we could out of the pump. And we um, had the century eating on last night because it was um, February. And we um, pumped, much of the water out so what we'll do today it's not a brand new in a box one but it is one that Carl's been wanting for a long time so show them, show them what we got in the box today then the hard floor plate so that's a hard floor plate it's got a squeezy so it's not adding too much use out of these squeezy. it looks like this one was mainly used just for washing um their rugs and carpets You've and got stuff one pole. What, one pole. What also comes now his the other bag. one. Also comes with the bag. Yeah, so these are very handy to have because he can use this on his other Aqua Masters. And it's also got the pole bag. You've got a pack of bags. So you've got a pack of bags. New one. I mean, I mean, I mean, how many would you get in there originally? Three in it. I don't think it's ever been used. How many bags is in there then? One, two, two three. Four. So I should imagine it's probably so it's only so it's only ever I think probably at the fifth bag in the machine, so it's not had a lot of no, use. No, it didn't come with those. It only got one bag. Probably when I bought it, they bought a pack of bags. Ah, they bought a pack of bags. So it's not a, one. it's not a lot of use that one. So get the hose out now. <laughs> this is the bad part about the hose now. Now. I have tried to get an egg, but it looks like somebody's aerodited the pole in. So this pole never comes out, which is an absolute shame because we do actually need the poles to, to use his other, other, other Aquamasters. And it comes with this part. Yeah. What someone's one's missing. Yeah, so what, what is the difference between an Aquamaster and an Aqua Jet? It's got a pump though. They don't, yeah, that's basically it. This is like an Aquamaster, it's like a Charles. Um, it just sucks water up. And it washes the carpet. But it uses gravity to feed, to pump the water in. This one has a pump on it, like a George. So if I went down to the charity shop and I seen a George from the 90s down there for £30, it'd be gone. 
but people don't really know what Hoover Acromasses are, you know, on, in general. And it's got this. Yeah. But also knocks and push it. It also knocks. It knocked a minute ago. So it locks in, look. And you can pull it and it unlocks. So that's a good itself. feature. Because it does get a, a bit annoying when you're trying to spray with, with, with the George. And so, it's got the hose inside there and it's still got a bit of water in there. Yeah, because it's older one, I think, which was the... And that had the hose clip on the outside. And the Unacle Master, what I got, the green one, the green with right. spareable speed. I've, you got the... The upholstery cleaning tool. Now, the problem with this one now is because this this should actually fit onto there. Um, but but as it's been, I mean, I'm going to try and get this thing off. I tried I tried pouring boiling hot water on it last night, trying to loose soften the glue up on it. Um, so I may have to soak it. But at the moment, I've got a little issue in the kitchen where my tap's leaking. Um, so I've turned the water off in the kitchen. But it's only because... My kitchen sink generally, I've got dishwasher, so it doesn't really matter. But it's getting fixed Monday anyway, I'm going to get it all fixed Monday. And you've got a Hoover upholstery credit. tool, so that's being used. No, that's a credit tool. Grevis tool, so that's being used, but that's fine. And you've got a you've you've got got spares of them. credit tool. I don't know if this is a proper Henry one, but it looks like a generic... I think it's a Henry one. It looks like the older Henry ones, yeah, but if somebody could let me know if it's a proper Henry one, that'll look quite... Mine. So that's going to go up with this Henry stuff anyway. Um, Have you got a, the knock-off one? No, that's the original one. Yeah, I think it's original. That's the original one. It looks like a pneumatic like one. Yeah. A bit of a pneumatic one. And thing is... And this one, I think, is original too. Yeah, well, we're probably going to throw these because, to be honest with you, he has got a couple of uh, terrible power tool sets that we've um, consolidated to make a couple of decent sets. So we've got a couple of sets of tools. And we got the... Thing. The siphon. Siphon. Right. Yeah. What's next? Now that's the genuine floor head. Now, did, did the aqua, is this the floor head the aqua mouse is supposed to have with it? No. Or is that the one only for the aqua jet? This is the only one for the aqua jet. So, comes so the this aqua is the aqua jet floor tool. There's a little bit of rust on it, but you know, it's old. It's been, oh, it looks like it's been in somebody's loft for years. And the fish oh, and tail. Any, and the fish tail. With the Hoover logo in the middle. And that's all working fine. We've tested that. Also, this bit. This, is, this bit clicks on there. It's missing one quick. Yeah, that's fine. It's missing one quick. Or and one you also get in here. This looks, this, this here reminds me of the shark steam mop yeah. end, um, head. But yeah, this is a... Seamer. This is for the, is this, is this, this goes on the Hoover, doesn't it? No. Yeah, this is, this is off a steamer, isn't it? Yeah. Because the Hoover one, it's got that scrubber. Did Hoover have one like that, did they? No. Did it comes with it? No. Maybe, I'm not too sure with that, so. And this, there's a machine, the box is pretty good condition. Um, we're going to flat pack the box and keep it. You can see where it's been flat packed before, look, because they've taped it all back up again. So there's the aqua jet. Um, like you said, it is basically an aqua. It's even got the original label. Yeah, it's the same label as the one So it's basically like a. It's very. It's identical to an aqua master, but it has a pump built in. And there's a tank. You know. Um, 30 pounds, like you say, it's not too bad. Inside, it's got the pack test sticker here, look. And then today, we've also got inside the machine a filter could do with a wash. So the filter actually was in the box yesterday. It was, so the filter's a bit grubby. Easy way around this is just to wash them, soak them in some. Um, I'll use some. Um, and uh, it looks like it's been used bad. Aerial gel. It looks like it's been used bad. So there's a bit of dust on the floor, look. And a bit of grit. So what we'll do now, we'll get this from the gather, and we'll, without a bag, mind you, um, and, and you use it and give it a quick run. And also, look, the motor, you can't see, it doesn't seem to have any rust spots on it, so it seems to have. So whoever's had it, it's looked after it. So we're actually going to get this one cleaned up. And it's also got a bag clip. 
Oh yeah. I think my rack was nice. It's got that, and not, not, not the other one. Yeah, so the seals are still good on it. it. Does run fine. So what we do, we we'll build this one quickly, and we we'll give it a quick push around, and we we'll just demonstrate the pump on it as well. We might, we might do later on in spring. We might do a, a spring clean, maybe a rug clean or something. Um, so we'll. Uh, get yeah, well, while Cole's setting up now, Cole's got. He's got one of those little twin tubs that he likes to use in the summer. And we've actually tried for a long, long time to get one of those uh, washing powder dispensers. But this is what we got from Purcell, wasn't it? It's like, it's one of them collapsible ones, look. So look, so if you order a washing powder dispenser from from Purcell, this is what you end up it with. Actually, it actually says, it actually says, it actually says... Well, surf on the packet. Did it say surf on it, did it? Yeah, on the packet. I tried ordering one, I never got it. But we go order it again. Well, we bought some from surf. Um, we got them on this time, so he's you know he, he does like he like likes washing machines a little bit, you know. So what we'll do now, we'll just quickly put this one on. Just do the the pump first. It's not on. Oh, uh, not on. Right. So that's very much like a George. And it does run. So we'll get this one cleaned up and that, you know, get the grime out of it. We'll wash the filter out of it. I mean, the rundown's fine on it. Let's try and date this one. I think these are better around the 90s actually, so we'll. Uh, it would probably be so let's have a quick look at the dating plate so 30 quid mate for one of these it's actually for a collector it's one of the sort after machines because it is like you know hoover were really um famous for their uprights really but this is a s4 s4514 so it's june 1994 so this is what you call a vintage machine now um the hose does look very similar to like what you have on a henry this actual hose here but yeah it's, it's a good quality machine they're yeah, clean up i mean a few wet wipes on it we're not going to be polishing it all out no, and all this lot get boat hose. it is a 1200 watt motor so it's very much like what a henry would have in it at the time or a george i think the george is one 1100 or a thousand so uh and also this one wasn't made in the uk i think this one was part of um the candy group i think when they got sold on well then candy bought them at the time so yeah so it does say it's hoover appliance european so thanks for watching he's really pleased with this one 30 pound well spent really excited about this one we're going to get it cleaned up we'll, we'll wash the filters and stuff on it and um, we're probably going to see this one. Well, we will be seeing this one again on a on a cleaning video, I think, won't we? Now we're getting the bulk hose. <laughs> it was a Hoover bulk hose. So yeah, bye.